Hello, everybody. Back again on and bank day. All right. Um, I've been talking about what's going on with uh, the Socorro Independent School District. I just want to stress this out that it is May 22. So what happened yesterday is very interesting. Like I said, prior, uh, about a year, year and a half ago, that how shitty of a teacher can you be that not even the union would want to back you up? And we're talking about Graciela uh, Castellano, uh, which is the wife of uh, uh, trustee uh, Mr. Castellano at the um, Socorro Independent School District Board. And I got you know, chewed out because I said, how how stupid can you be or, or how dumb? But put that aside, really, how horrible of a teacher can you be when you get fired? And I said it again, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again. It is very difficult to fire a teacher, very difficult. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this, and we're going to break it down so that you can understand what I'm trying, what I said prior to this, that the narrative, is, they're trying to change. They're trying to change the narrative to say, I didn't do nothing wrong. And that's what we're going to show you guys. Okay, so bear with me. And this is what we're going to show you. Okay, here we go. Thank you. And I have two speakers for item seven. Discuss and take appropriate action on recommendation of the termination employment of reading interve interventionist Bobby Joe Hill, PK8. On that, I have Laura Enriquez and Gabriela Castellano. Good afternoon. My name is Laura Enriquez, and I've been practicing law here in El Paso, Texas for 28 years. Um, I'm the past president of the El Paso Bar Association, the past president of the Mexican American Bar Association, the past president of Aboda. I serve as the precinct chair for the Democratic Party 8. Um, I'm a strong member of my community. I'm the president of the Coronado uh, Baseball Booster. And I'm here representing Gabriela Castellano. I'm here on a pro bono basis, representing her for free because I feel this is a compelling case. Um, on May 9th, my client was arrested for something that supposedly happened in 2021 in the Socorro Independent School District. I'm gonna stop it there, people. I'm gonna stop it there because supposedly what happened? Let's let's talk about what happened. Why did she get arrested? Was because she was dumb enough to send the audio recording of 33 hours that the TEA got and they started the investigation. Why? Because of their recordings, because she introduced it as evidence and they saw something very wrong. They heard something very wrong because it was audio, okay? There's no allegations. She did it. She was dumb enough to email it. Let's continue. As you know, my client and her husband, who is a school board member at, at Socorro Independent School District, are whistleblowers. Okay, let's let's stop. Let's stop there. Remember what I said at started this video and the other video prior to this one where I said that the narrative they're trying to change? Okay, whistleblowers. No, they're not. Because when they ran, that's what they said they were going to do. They were going to try to do an audit, and which they did. And I commend them. I applaud them. Bravo, bravo, because they did. And what showed? It showed a lot of things that were wrong with Socorro Independent School District. That is not the problem. It doesn't matter. They, they weren't whistleblowers because they had that intention. They publicly stated their intention of why they were running for the school board. Okay, let's not say something that is it's not true. That's a fallacy, what she's saying. Why? Because we all knew. They said, oh, we're going to bring changes and we got to do audits and this and that. 
We had another podcast with Pablo Barrera, with Alex Garcia, myself, and the podcast guy. Uh, guy. And we were there, and he, he we were saying about what were his intentions when he was running. So let's not let's not say that they were whistleblowers because they weren't, because that was their intentions at the get go, and they publicly said it. Let's carry on. They were the people reporting to the TEA that there was malfeasance going on over there, that they were giving out bonuses without board approval. They were the ones, and so. For some reason, this all happens, and for some reason, no, I like this attorney. For some reason, my client got arrested. Wow, wow. Now I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, okay? Yes, I'm very happy that Barrera and Mr. Castellano got their 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 wishes of doing an audit and it showed all of the discrepancies of course i applaud them and i'm not be, uh, saying it as a joke or trying to ridicule them yes i applaud them yes for doing a good job as a matter of fact i'm going to go to their next council and let them know and and uh, their next board meeting and i'm going to let them know because you know what it is true but nevertheless it doesn't doesn't disregard them breaking the law Okay, because the audio that Mrs. Castellano recorded, man, I wouldn't even talk to that woman for nothing because she's going to, I know that she's recording 33 hours. What else didn't she say? What else has she gotten in those recordings? Hmm. Let's carry on. Three, almost three years later, they're arrested. That's the only reason why she's being considered uh, for termination. That's not true. That's not true. You're a teacher and you got arrested. Oh my goodness. You got arrested? Come on, your employer's going to be upset at that. You're practically in front on the line, front lines, and yet one of your employees got arrested? That is not a good look, especially, especially for the El Paso Independent School District. They don't want to touch none of this. Um, as you know, Socorro is in a very, very bad situation. I agree. With two TEA conservators appointed to them currently. In America, a person is innocent until proven guilty. These charges against her are bogus. They deal with employment issues. They have no merit. That's not true. It's not employment issues. They retaliated. They got people moved and terminated. So it's it's not it's not about employment issues. The recordings are there. Let's carry on. They're doing this because. They're retaliating against her and her husband for the reports to TEA of the malfeasance on the money. That is not true. Once again, people, that is not true. It doesn't matter what they say. It was the recording that she herself sent. And that's why they got arrested. Not because they were whistleblowers. No, it's because they recorded something they did wrong. That's the bottom line. She has done a good job at EPISD. This has nothing to do with EPISD. She needs her job to pay her criminal lawyer. Say that again. She didn't do nothing wrong, but it's a criminal lawyer. One more time, people, you don't get arrested just because they feel like arresting you. She has a criminal lawyer. What does that tell you? She did something wrong. She needs to have a defense so that she can see if she's guilty or not. I totally agree. You are not found, you're not guilty until found guilty by. 12 of your peers. So I, I, I totally agree with that. But nevertheless, uh, it was your voice. 
on that audio, your husband, Pablo Barrera. So go figure that one out. If she can be terminated from this district for a false arrest, then no teacher in this district is safe. That wasn't a false arrest. PIC is my district. It's where my children go. Um, my children go to Coronado High School. They've been we've been a part of this district. I'm proud of this district. It's not always been perfect. At times, EPISD has been on the wrong side, but they haven't been lately. We are the premier district. We're better than this. We want to encourage reports of malfeasance in our district. That is so important. Guarding of taxpayer money is imperative. Can you think of anything more important than taking care of taxpayer money intended to educate children? What is gonna happen to the Socorro kids? Terminating her will have a chilling effect. Please do not do that, do the right thing. Thank you, Ms. Castellano. Now, I, I, I agree, I agree. Malfeasance is, is, is horrible. You know, um, I just don't like it when Mr. Castellano goes out and and ridicules the rest of the board members for $17 million. I'm going to show you that video next video that I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you from his mouth that it was $17 million and that he incurred another sixteen. So why are you doing that? But this is not for this show. We're going to do it another time. But here you go. Let's see what she has to say. Good afternoon, Board President Irovali, members of the board, Dr. Saavedra. My name is Sabrina Castellano. I have been an educator for 18 years in good standing and superb evaluations. I am aware of the possible termination of my contract. I would like to request my contract is extended. As always, my evaluations and walkthroughs this year have been superb. It is my full intention to defend myself vigorously against any criminal charges. There's that big word again, criminal charges, okay? This isn't a walk into the park. They were arrested because they did something wrong. I have not committed any crime and I absolutely look forward to a swift resolution. I consider myself an exceptional employee and my performance at EPISD speaks for itself to high standards and about to be the person that I am. Your decision tonight can have adverse effects on my image, my career, and my livelihood. Thank you. Well, yes, of course. The image in your career and livelihood is going down the drain because you were stupid enough to send out an email with 33 hours of you guys talking crap about your principals and assistant principals and talking crap about uh the the super the acting superintendent i mean my god my god that's how you talk behind closed doors about other people so your credibility is shot and do you want to know why because of your mouth that's why let's carry on for your consideration before we go out to closed session, we are going to take I now she got terminated. She got terminated yesterday. Um, and it's it's sad. It's sad to 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 people to understand why this happened. Why this happened because for some strange reason, I don't know why. You, and I, I got to say this, people, and I don't mean it in a bad way, but you got to be really stupid to be recording um, when, when you're even just talking to a friend. And yet, look at what happened. That conversation brought down Pablo Barrera. Poor guy. He's going through what he's doing in his personal life, and yet... This is what Gabriela Castellano helped bring him down with him too. 
because he got he got caught up on this. And I feel bad for him because, like I said, we know him. Uh, well, I know him personally, um, and he's a great father. You know, he, he he he's a good husband. You know, he's a good provider. But yet he got slammed, and he got slammed rightfully so because he got caught up with a dumb person and somebody uh, in Mr. Castellano's position uh, who thought that um, they were uh, – better than cheese you know that's what it is you know you can call it you know better than chocolate or whatever but you know that's what that's what i'm saying and unfortunately he got cut up in that situation and it's just bad 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 i'm gonna leave it there you guys saw oh and i want to say something as well this video right here that I showed you, you can go up, okay? It's a, it's a special board meeting from the El Paso uh, Independent School District on May 21st, which was yesterday, okay? And look at the one that was at 2 p.m. Very important because I want to I want to stress something out. They were the last speakers, okay? But I want to stress this out. On minute 28, uh Mr. Ros uh, Rose Moore is the El Paso FTA president, okay? And he didn't go and advocate for her. He went to go advocate for another teacher. On the same meeting, on this same meeting, on minute 49, Ms. Uh, Velardes de la Rosa, president of the teachers association went and spoke on behalf of another teacher and not defending mrs gabriela castellano because what does that say you're not a good teacher if nobody comes to your defense and that's sad sad because you hear through the grapevine that she wasn't a great co-worker, that she was selfish. And, you know, you hear all these rumors. But when you hear teachers talk to you and tell you this, then I I, I tend to think uh, good about their credibility because if one teacher, uh, okay, I'll just miss it. Two, mm, I'll push it, give them the benefit of the doubt. But when three people, four people, yes, four teachers, Come up and say, hey, Mr. Rodriguez, you know, she wasn't that good. You know, she was she was mean and, you know, they gave me a bunch of details. Then you start to wonder what they're saying is true. So I'm going to leave it there. Send me a comment. Send me a comment here. Um, I, I might I might do something, um, but send me a comment. See what you think. What's on your mind? I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for it and stuff like that. But I say, you know, there's good, there's great teachers. Don't get me wrong. There are plenty of great teachers. I know a bunch of teachers. Okay. Um, send me a, 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 um, an email and or post it on this video and and see what, what you guys think. You know, is it is it too harsh or not? You know, um, you know, the El Paso Independent School District doesn't want nothing to do with the people like that. And, you know, she says that she's got all these accolades there, but, you know, you don't know because that's that's uh, personal. That's uh, an employee file. So we don't really know. Um, and as people that know that go, can go to board meetings or council, um, you can't have a back and forth with board members and say, oh, is it true? Well, they can't respond. But I will say this, uh, leave some comments and uh, tell me what you think, okay? It's just some bang thing. Remember, we will be back. And it's just it's just horrible, this, this situation. It, it is a, a sore eye for the city, uh, not the city, but the district of Socorro School because it's just, it's just bad. We need some changes. So thank you once again. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon.